Okie dokie, today we've got the third lecture on functional uh, algebra. So let's take a look at uh, this equation here. Uh, last time we only had f of f was equal to this. This time we're going to have three f's. f of f of f uh, will equal f, uh, uh, I will equal 5x to the 7. Uh, we need to find out who f is. Uh, look at my previous lectures if you want to try some simpler equations. We're going to get more and more complicated as this number gets bigger right here. All right, we'll guess, uh, as usual, ax to the n. And so what's f of f of f? f of f of f with this f is take this, plug it in here, then take that and plug it in here, which will give you this. It's basically a, this recursive uh, thing. So f of f of s is a nested functions of uh, this right here. All right, so there's one f, there's the other f, and here's the third f. Uh, a to the 1 right here, A to the N right here, uh, A to the N, and to the N is A to the N squared, so that takes care of all the A's, X to the N to the N to the N is X to the N cubed, so this uh, has to equal this, uh, these three A's can be coupled all to A to the N squared plus N plus 1, and that guy is right there, that equals... 5x to the 7. Okie dokie. Now, why don't we set n cubed equal to the power here? The power here equals the power here. So n cubed, the power of x equals the power of x. n cubed uh, equals uh, 7. So n equals the cubic root of 7. Uh, set the constant equal to 5. So a to this is equal to 5. And... Um, of course, solving for a, we'll have to take the root of this on the 5. So a equals 5 to the 1 divided by n squared plus n plus 1. You know n, you know a, you know the, your guess f. f equals a, that's this guy, x, n is this guy, which goes right there. So this is this uh, with all these constants. And of course, um, I didn't want to make this too messy, but n here will, will be n will equal the cubic root of 7 uh, right there, okay? So stick this into the n here and stick this into the n here, and you'll get your function that solves this equation. Okay, now the first thing we'll want to do is generalize again, as we always do. So f of f of f will equal, this time we'll make those two constants, the 5 the constant, the 7 the constant. Um, but we'll notice that if it's 3 here, uh, we're going to get the exact same. All this stuff is going to be all the same. So this will be the same right here. So the only difference will be the 5 will be the y, and the uh, this will be the x, and the 7 will be the z. So, um, so there's the 5 right there, and uh, there's uh, the z is the power, which is the 7, which was right there. And so there's the z right here. So basically this equation is this equation right here. So now we've generalized so we can solve any problem. If this is 121, put 121 in here. If this is 72, uh, put a 72 in here. And that this formula will solve any problem that, that is in this form, uh, format. Okay? Uh, and of course, again, n here and n here will be equal to the cubic root of uh, uh, z there. Now... What we want to do now is uh, generalize generalize this general formula. So, uh, and by the way, if we have, um, you might say, what happens if it's um, not odd, not uh, not three people, but two people? Uh, remember that with two people, we'll get the same solution, uh, but the roots will be uh, you'll have a, a one positive solution and one negative solution for the the n. So the n will equal, this will be negative if, uh, if, um, if, if there's an even number of f's here. So if it's four f's, uh, then you'll have this positive solution, and then you'll have, uh, with a four in here, of course, uh, uh, in the root, the, the root will be the four. And, um, and then you'll have the negative solution, which will be a negative uh, here, and... Um, 
and then uh, n will equal a negative here also, so that when you stick it in here, uh, this root will be uh, the negative, uh, for instance, the fourth root of z, negative the fourth root of z. You'll have to stick that in here and that in here. So this, this I only solved for an, uh, an odd number of f's, but there's, a, there's an even odd number of f's, as we've done before in, in lectures before. There'll be a positive solution and a negative solution. So this will be negative right here. Uh, this will be negative right here. And when you stick it in here, uh, that will cause a different solution uh, in here also. All right. Now we're going to uh, generalize this uh, general formula. So what we want to do is um, uh, notice that f, we've, we've mentioned this before in other lectures, f of f is equal to the notation f with a 2 here, meaning there's two functions that have eaten each other. Here's f of f of f, which is f uh, uh, p previous uh, 3, not subscript, but uh, prescript 3. So f prescript 3 is 3 people, f prescript 2 is 2 uh, recursive functions. So we will say, what is f? We know f of 3, this, this is the formula for f of 3, and f of 4 is this, the formula with n equals um, negative in here, and a 4 in there. And f6 is uh, two, two solutions, again, uh, with an, one positive like this, and one with a negative, uh, negative with a 6 in here. But all odd solutions will just simply be this, uh, the, this uh, uh, solution, all odd f's. Um, so now we wonder if f is equal to, uh, if, 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 if the prescript is m, in other words, there's an m number of uh, f's right here, uh, and it equals this uh, form of a, a function, polynomial function, uh, what would f be here? Well, I'll, let you, I'll leave it to you to, be, um, to solve this, and that is that, uh, that you'll find that... Um, um, you'll get uh, the constant y, just like you did here. But this time the pol n polynomial here, root, will be much more complicated. So 1 divided by n to the m, as in uh, mass, minus 1, plus n, as in nut, mass, uh, to the m minus 2, m as in mass, plus dot, 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 until you get to 1, just like you got to 1 there. And then you'll have uh, x, like there, x, and then the mth root, you know, again, if there was 2, this would be 2. Here it was 3, so the root was 3. If this was, f if there were 4 uh, f's, then this would be 4. Uh, where um, uh, n here is equal to, uh, again, the same thing that's here, the m as in mass uh, root of z. And this is the formula if m is odd, but if m is even, uh, of course, there'll be the positive solution, and then there'll be the negative solution. And the negative solution will simply have this root, uh, this n root, to be negative also. And, um, and of course, uh, this will be exactly the same. But don't forget that n, here n, you stuck this into here for the n as in nut. Uh, you stuck m as in mass root of z into each of those n's as in nut. Uh, here, you'll because it's, uh, it's, uh, if m is even, uh, you'll stick in negative uh, uh, m root of z into all these n's uh, right here. I just wrote scribble for all of this. It's the same right here. Uh, these are both uh, uh, the, the same. Uh, this is the same as Okie dokie. So now we can solve not only 3 or 2 uh, with these formulas. We can solve there's 17. F of F of F of F of F of F. 17 times uh, 5x to the 7. We can use this to solve these two formulas to solve that. Uh, if it's 17, it's just this solution. If it's 18, F, uh, 18 of these Fs recursively uh, uh, positioned, uh, then it's these two solutions. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lecture. Um, look for any uh, errata in the description if I uh, find any mistakes. Thank you for watching.